As you have noticed, all the videos of the four forms of our existence speak of us, of our ancestry. We try to explain our existence genetically, because man does exist in four forms. We have given an explanation of all these forms, but the only form that we cannot explain, that of our grandfather, Adam a.s., since it comes from no existing karyotype. But the other forms can be explained it be explained because each of them comes and comes from parental chromosomes. For this, science facilitates the logical understanding genetic facts. Without primary matter, we can not arrive at this research. We have seen that the genetic character of chastity characterizes the whole noble family of Imran, from grandparents to childhood. The mother of Maryam, alayhi salam, Mary, not being able to give her birth, asks by invocation to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give her child, to take the relay in the sanctuary to manage by his brother Zakaria, alayhi salam, who himself had no child, no children. God was granted his invocation by giving her a daughter, Maryam, alayhi salam, Mary, very pious from her childhood she consecrates her life in the sanctuary her uncle zakaria salam, notices that she had the fruits out of season by a miracle of the divan this pushes zakaria invoked allah to allow him to have a boy as a successor for maryam salam, was a girl once pubescent that would prevent her from entering the shrine trying for a few days. Zacharias, which was granted by the birth of a prophet named Yahya salam, Jean Baptiste, with a genetic character, abolition of the instant of attraction by the opposite sex, that is Hasur in Arabic. As well as his cousin of Miriam, alayhi salam, a shast, alati ahsanat farja, who she miraculously gives a birth to Isa, alayhi salam, whom we have already explained genetically, Yahya and Isa, alayhi salam, sterile without any instant towards the opposite sex to procreate hence like of offspring. This character of chastity and sterility is miraculously managed by a powerful creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala, for specific purpose, a punishment for the people. And it's uh, surely not a coincidence of fact of nature as nature as others claim. This punishment was a double amputation in the family tree at the branch level of Isaac. Ishaq salam, because all the prophets were destined for the descendants of the prophet Yaqub uh, salam, Jacob, appointed by our creator Israel. Was thus this verse confirmed to us? بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا بني إسرائيل اذكروا نعمة التي انعمت عليكم وأني فضلتكم على العالمين صدق الله العظيم which means O oh, children of Israel remember my blessing which I have filed you with remember that I have preferred you to all peoples of the time the question is why this selection Quran self explains in Surah Al Hashr, God says, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, Badaud Bilahim al Shaytan al Rajim, Bismillah al Rahman al Rahim. Wama afallah ala rasulihim min hum fama ujafta ali min khayl wala rikab, wala kin lahi usalli to rasulu ala man yasha, wallahu ala kuli shayn qadir, sadaq Allahu al Adim, which means. The spoil from their gods at which Allah has granted without a fight to his messenger. You have heard nearer horses, not camels. But Allah gives his messenger the dominion on whom he wills, and Allah is omnipotent. You see that finally this selection is according to the undeeming of this people because our Lord is merciful and very merciful in a given population and epidemic 
or viral endemic spreads, you will find a large number of doctors and paramedics. The number is proportional to the danger that this population can suffer, such as, for example, the Zika virus, the prophets and messengers were protectors and guides for the reorientation and the awakening in spite of all that they turn away, which explains the double amputation of the family tree in the ancestry of Isaac, Ali Salam Ishaq. The difference between Sayyiduna Yaqub appointed by Allah Israel and the state of Israel. I ask you to see the research done by Roger Saba. The word Israel corresponds to a trinity which is the land of the uh, of the pharaohs who was the land of Israel who are Isis, Ray and Il. Roger Saba confirms to us that the state of Israel is in Egypt, not in Palestine, and that the Israelite name comes from Uzair, which originated from Uziris. To understand this, in ancient Egypt, the pharaohs held Sirius in such a way that most of their deities, his appearance occurred just before the annual and summer floods of the Nile, as well as for other civilizations such as, as ancient Greeks, Sumerian, and Babylonian. Time of our Prophet Ibrahim and continuity of belief in the stars and endemic neurons through all these civilizations. Sirius or star of the dog, it symbolizes the head, the dryness, the head waves which comes from the Latin, Latin, Latin canis, which is the dog. In addition to all that, the land of the Nile Valley, which bore the name of Osiris, and she had a secret name. The raid was Ray, Ale, and then the Greeks usurped the name by replacing it with the land of Egypt so much of Ptolemy. Osiris, who is said to have been assassinated, assassinated and drowned by his brother Seth, found life by the magical power of uh, his sisters Isis and Nephrites. Uh, to crown the wall, the pharaohs claimed that each death of one of them was sacrificed that the deceased become the stars. So in conclusion, Osiris is well, Uzair, which is attributed to Israel, this proves that in no case there exists a relation between Sayyiduna Yaqub, which is Israel, and that state of Israel takes its origin of Uzair. The third characteristic of a man in this dependence of food, respiratory dependence, and his dependence on water, the three addictions, essential to our life, which are the growth factor of Isa salam from birth to adulthood. The return of Isa salam is very logical by our explanation from the Quran verses, hadith and scientific support. We saw following the invocation of his grandmother who has granted God subhanahu wa ta'ala protected his offspring thus preventing the contact of man with his consort al al qarin on his return the contact will be between Isa salam and his qarin the dajjal which explains the return of this prophet the dajjal antichrist that was chained in a cave waiting for his Released by our Creator as a time and of course before the coming of Isa alayhi salam. Thus the contact will be between mother and any uh, matter and any antimatter, Chris and Antichrist, the Dajjal beings to perish as the bottom salt in the water, described by the head of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The relation between Surat al kahf the cave, and the Dajjal seems very clear because the place where he was 
uh, chained is the, is the cave, which symbolizes the refuge of the hibernation without forgetting the duration of the prolonged sleep of Uzair and the man of the cave. All the events quoted in this series of video are the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, this, the decision of the powerful creator subhanahu wa ta'ala, his choice, his freedom in this act, and it's, it is makiyatli Allah azza wa jal. The four forms of human creation is a miracle of God Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala because God knows that the man being by his arrogance and blasphemy for material interests connected to a digestive track and an adequate environment could to harm his neighbor from the same family tree and harm himself to his person, his offspring through his blasphemy by inventing inner stories, and the most shocking is their offspring through century beliefs in utopias that differ not only with a science and human cerebral logic. The existence of Satan occurred before Adam a.s. and at the same time, the Antichrist existed before Isa a.s. Chained after the invocation of Hana to Allah, who is the mother of Maryam a.s. And we know that God subhanahu wa ta'ala created everything is double according to the Quranic revelation. And that the meeting of Isa a.s. with his consort, the spouse, the Dajjal will be done at the time desired by our Creator subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah. You see, the finally, we are witnessing real historical facts with a scientific explanation touching only the, touching only the part of human creation and that every event quoted and wanted attributed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> with Mashi'at Allah his decision as a wajal. the will of God the freedom of the act of our divine creator without forgetting that God has created us free from our actions and to understand those linking his freedom is a free choice with the choice and the will of Allah with an organ, uh, an organ a gift of our Lord our brain that accepts only the logical instinctive which embraces merges with scientific logical on the other hand others are against the current and yet in our time they dominate the world through scientific technical evolution god tell us in a quranic verse in surat an najm star إن الذين لا يؤمنون بالآخرة لا يسمون الملائكة تسمية الأنثى وما لهم به من علم يتبعون إن الضن وإن الضن لا يغني من الحق شيئا فاعرض عن من تول عن ذكرنا ولم يرد إلا الحياة الدنيا ذلك مبلغه من العلم إن ربك هو علم بمن ضل عن سبيله هو علم بمن اهتدى صدق الله العظيم I translate those who do not believe in the earth after give the angels the names of women when they have no knowledge of them they only follow the conjecture whereas the conjecture is useless against the two get away therefore from one who turn his back on our remainder and who deserves only the present life that's the full scope of their knowledge surely your lord knows whoever goes astray in his path and he knows who is well guided we know we know understand the need to earth the word inshallah for it only in the decision my brother and my sister of the same career tips i want to inform you that during the reading of the sacred book the quran in several surah god repeats to us each time to see several surah the story of musa salam pharaoh and the act of the children of israel 
The question to ask it is to say why this repetition? The answer is simple. A formal proof that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last of the prophets because all the verses speak of continuity of messenger of the prophets and that the laws and directives come in stage followed by miracles afterwards a punishment alone Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam of the Quran is continuous miracle because it is addresses to human brains on the way with reflection awakening and science the only reason that drives them to disbelieve there is their arrogance and the only pretext and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam comes from the bra branch of Ismail not from Isaac well they are brother children of Ibrahim al Khalil alayhi salam and I do not stop there because the Quran is a revelation of our creator to all humans and also the jinn who are not the children of Israel and that this, by the repetition of their arrogance and blasphemies, descripted in several Quranic verses, is an alarm signal to all humanity in order not to fall into the same mistakes. Protection by our merciful for all humanity, so that it is human, human from the errors of the children of Israel. As an example in Surah Al-Baqarah, the Koi, the anti story is exclusive to the children of Israel and one of them was murder, murdered by his nephew for the inheritance once found that the people's address to Musa السلام, to, to identify the Isasan by asking for help to Allah God then simple, simply asks them to slaughter the slaughter cow and put his flesh in contact with the, the dead so the murder will reveal the name of his killer forgetting the cause and the purpose of their question they passed only of the anatomy of the cow, its color united or not its age and its function and slavered the blue of water forgetting the most important identification of the criminal but following a verses of merge major importance that is related to our subject verses 70 of Surah Al-Baqarah which say <coughs> which says Bismillah ar rahman ar rahim قالوا ادعوا لنا ربك يبين لنا ما هي عين البقرة شابه علينا وإن إن شاء الله لمهتدون صدق الله العظيم I translate they said ask us for our Lord of tell us what it is because for us cause are confused but we will certainly be well guided if Allah wills it Thanks to Allah, who means God willing, the cow was slaughtered and the murder was identified. But unfortunately, after centuries of revelation by the prophets Musa, Isa, and Muhammad, the later August, uh, uh, cow was born, so saying in their prophecy, born to Israel by genetic manipulation of red color keep under surveillance wherever say at a given age the most sacrifice eat afterwards will purify them of their deeds as well as their descent sensually do you believe that a coil purifies the man being of this act if I speak to you of all this it, it is because the Muslim religion is there to prevent from the dissimulation of the real objectives including all the humans the genes and the descent of the children of Israel which is in our time confused between the humans we find that Islam has our time splits into several plans which weakens it be all united follow the Quranic guidelines and the hadiths of Prophet Muhammad only you only have to learn 
as an example, a set of water molecule can cause a tsunami, a really earthly force and a satisfaction to afterlife. I speak to all human beings because Islam does not belong exclusively to Arab or regions of the globe. It is our prospectus of life in harmony and symbiosis between us and without uh, with our environment sometimes people made mistakes we are not obliged to follow them if it's turned out that they were in the wrong way i wish that each individually makes a reflection in the good sense to be able to find himself inshallah together in the paradise that has reserved us